What's going on guys? I'm Jacob Cabazuda with Cab Training and today I'm going to show you guys three drills that are going to help youth athletes with their sports performance. Before you guys do anything, subscribe to Cab Training so you guys don't miss any more videos like this and let's get better today. So an old coach of mine used to say, keep it simple, stupid. You know who you are, coach. But what I mean by that is a lot of times today, kids are being trained with very complicated drills that have multiple changes of direction, don't apply very well to the football field. So in this video, I really want to straighten things out and make it super simple. If you're a coach or a parent watching this video who wants their kid to get better at football, or if you're a kid yourself that wants to get better at football, Make sure you watch this because these are gonna be simple little movements that'll make you better on the football field. And they're not gonna be super complicated. They're gonna be very easy and they're going to apply to very significant parts of your game. Let's get into it right now. Drill number one, all you need is a whistle, two cones, a player and a coach. And this one is just about starting and stopping. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have the player line up on cone number one and they are sprinting full speed towards cone number two. Once they reach cone number two, they are stopping on a dime with the least amount of steps possible. You gotta tell them to pretend that there is an invisible wall behind that cone. Cause if they overrun that cone, that means they are out of control while trying to stop. Football is a start and stop game. And if you're out of control when you break down and try to tackle or pull someone's flag, whether you're playing tackle or flag, then, but if you come in in control, you're in a much better position while breaking down to make the play. Part two of this drill now we remove cone number two. And here is where you're gonna blow your whistle. Once you say go, the player is gonna sprint in a straight line from cone number one. And once the whistle sounds, they stop on a dime in three steps or less. I really want two steps, but if you can get them to stop in three steps or less, that means they're really breaking down fast and in control without taking a lot of force to the knees and ankles. This one is really the reaction part of the drill because, okay, you have a place to stop at the cone, but in the game, there's not gonna be a cone for them to stop on. They're gonna need to know when to stop and it's not gonna be guided by any kind of landmark except for the player that they're chasing down. With this one, sound the whistle, make sure their brain starts knowing how to react very quickly. And this is where you're really gonna get the most benefit out of this drill. Drill number two is a straight line back pedal. So as you get older as a player and as your team ages up, if you're a coach or parent, it's gonna be more necessary for a player to get comfortable moving backwards. And so the first thing with comfortability is control. So before you can move fast, we're gonna have to take this slow. So all you need is two cones once again, and we're working on trying to make you backpedal straight backwards. Start out with a walk backwards, but first you gotta get in the correct stance. You need to make sure they're hinged at the hips, nice and low with bent knees and bent hips so they are able to move in any direction. Straight line back pedal, super simple. You want them to walk real slowly with this one without leaning side to side, swaying side to side. Another big point to this drill is that you don't want them looking at the ground. In game, there ain't nothing gonna be on the ground. So make sure they're looking up and have their head on a swivel while they're back pedaling. And as they get better and as you get better at this drill, you need to make sure that you start increasing your speed. But of course, don't go 150% because never in a game will you be going 150% backpedaling. The backpedal is simply just a move that you can use to set up the next move, whether it's a shuffle or a sprint at, at any particular angle. So make sure you're not going 100,000% on this drill. Drill number three is gonna require a lot of creativity from you guys because there are so many different movements to do off of it. And it's the square drill. You can work offensive and defensive movements on this drill. So I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of these and give you a couple different talking points and a couple different skill points on this one so you can teach it correctly. All we're doing to start this out is to align the cones in a square position. The first drill we're going to do is a 90 degree cut drill. And if you guys want your receivers to be running sharp out routes, this is a great drill to work on, especially applying and applying the movement pattern to be able to cut sharply in a 90 degree angle. So all they're gonna do is go around the square, but without rounding their cuts. And I know what you're saying as a coach, I've told my kids over and over and over again to stop rounding their cuts. This is the drill right here to really hammer it into place. 
So we're just going around and around the square, both directions, making sure we get those cuts straight. The next drill I have around the square is we're going to be running straight to start. Then we're going to break down into a diagonal break, then straight again. So we're making about a Z-shaped pattern on the square. And this one just works on curl and comeback breaks for receivers, as well as just good hip control when you're moving on the field. The last drill I'll show you around the square is the most simple one. And this one's just for general agility. You guys can use it for the warm up for your kids. But right here, we're shuffling sideways, sprinting forward, shuffling sideways again, and finishing off with a back pedal. This one just hits all common movements and it ties back to that keep it simple, stupid mentality. So you guys can work on the very fundamentals, especially at a young age. And these fundamentals should carry over to when these kids go into high school and try at the big time. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you guys liked this video, hit that like button down below and subscribe to Cab Training if you haven't already. Really looking forward to hitting a thousand subscribers sometime in the next six months. And so I can produce more and more great content for you parents, players, and coaches looking to get better at the game of football. I'm excited to be able to share my passion with you all. And I'll leave you guys with my famous motto, let's get better today.